Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Wow. That sounds amazing. Hello. Kean here. And welcome to this Photoshop tutorial on two different styles of Starburst. So I'll show you the two different styles we'll be doing. The one style is this one, which I prefer more. Also, it would look like that. Also, whatever you want to do with it. And this one, I also like, but this is more of a cartoony effect that I don't like as much, but it's good. And I'll also go in more in depth with them and show you different styles and different ways you can do things with them. All right, so let's get started. So for the first style, we're gonna wanna go to new, and if you wanna follow with me, you can go to 1600 width and 1800 height. All right, so now you're gonna wanna choose your foreground and background color. So whichever color you want to be in the background will be the first color you chose, and whichever in the front will be the second. So I'll go with that again and then just go and grab something darker like that. So now what, what you want to do is go over to your gradient tool and start at the top and hold shift and go down to the very bottom unless you think you're really great and you can do it without the shift key holding it straight. So now you have that unlock the layer you don't really need to do it but I like to do that and then go to filter um, distort and wave. So if you're following along with the way that I'm doing it, what you're going to need to do is at the top 999 and then wavelength minimum is 71, max is also 71 and then the amplitude minimum is 34, max is 34 and then scale everything's 100% and make sure it's on repeat around edge pixels or repeat edge pixels I mean. Sign and press OK. So there you go, and you're probably like, what? That's not a starburst. Or maybe you're not, I don't really know. But what you do now is you go to distort again, and you go to polar coordinates, and rectangular to polar, and you click OK. And there's your first style of starburst. Now, if you don't, if you don't want it just to be like this and have it in the very center, what you can do is you can, uh-oh, what you can do is you can copy it or go over with it or press control A for select all then copy it make a new one but make this one smaller like say 1000 by 1000 press ok now you can paste it in there and it will be too big so you can kind of put it in the corner or like up here wherever you want it to be so that's how you do that if you don't want it to be right in the center Alright, so I'll just clear this because this is the right size. Okay, so for the other effect, this one, what you do is you can make it 1000 by 1000 like I did, or not, whatever your choice is. For this one, it doesn't really matter at all what you do because it will work out whatever way you do it. So you go to filter, distort, and then wave again except this time click randomize oh crap okay so this time you go and set it to white and then your background black you don't necessarily need to do that but you can if you want you can choose different colors but that's the easy way of doing it is with these two now you hold shift again do the same gradient thing then you go to filter distort wave but instead of putting it out this straight lines this time click randomize okay never mind apparently I can't randomize mine so just change your wavelength to the lowest no okay keep your minimum all the way down to one and your max somewhere around 100 maybe 110 and then your amplitude around 34 34 again and then maximum horizontal and vertical and again repeat around edge pixels and sign and then click randomize press ok that is not exactly how I did it last time of course when you press randomize it's different every time now you go to polar coordinates again click ok and there's your starburst 
see it looks a little bit different you can modify it however you want so there's your basic starburst now you pre if you want to change the color at all on this you press new layer drag the layer under it and then whatever your color you want select here say green because that's what we did last time paste it and then go to the starburst layer and if you want the background to be a different color go to screen and then you'll have a white thing in the center I think that doesn't look that great so what I do is I go to hard light and I think this looks amazing so that's all it's a simple effect I taught you two different styles so thanks for watching this tutorial comment rate, and subscribe also leave in the comments if you like this new style of the tutorial I'm doing with the camera and the screenshot so thank you for watching this lots of entertainment tutorial again and have a good day, afternoon, evening, or night.